what you're doing? Sitting. Sitting? Yep. What for? Just, just waiting for it to be done. Yeah? Yeah. It's almost there. Yeah. All right, let's get to work. Okay. I have to ask you, Riley, what was it that you were teasing me about when we were, was it Tub and Kyle? <laughs> yeah, those bolts and nuts came apart real nice, all thanks to Tub and Tile, tub and tile otherwise known as Penetrating oil in mommy's cleaning bottle. All right, Riley <coughs> is teasing me. <coughs> soapy bubbles. Because I said soapy bubbles. We're using grease lightning as a wet sanding cutting medium. And they are soapy bubbles. <laughs> All right, Riley. We worked on Screaming Jimmy back when he had a red hood. Remember... Forward, backward, forward, backward. You let the sandpaper do the work, <laughs> right? We're not doing swirls. Just work in one area and just do forward, backward, forward, backward. Just like Steve Bo taught us. What? Let's take a break a minute. Spray some new soapy bubbles on here. <coughs> here's some. Uh, here's some of your butt wipe. It's your butt wipe. Got right. it for you. Wipe some of them bubbles off and let's see what it's doing. Wait. Yeah, it's gross. That's how red that's coming out. <laughs> now it's work. Why is it red? It's gotta be rusty. It is rusty, but well, it's, I mean, yeah. it's bringing out the real color. Underneath all that rust is paint. <coughs> Good stuff, huh? <laughs> this is what I get to do with every day, people. <laughs> I get to deal with this clown all the time, and I love it. So the plan is that we are wet sanding, right? Yep. And then what? Clear coat. Clear coat, yes. Yeah, we got to put it on there and watch out. Yep, and we're going we're gonna to make this thing look shiny all the time. Um, and I was working on getting a new nose for this that I was going to weld on, but Riley likes the dent. That's right there, yeah. And she likes the hole in the wheel horse. Um, so I'm working on a patch panel for this area, and I was thinking I was gonna weld it in, but I'm really leaning towards just to keep that patina on the outside. 
and not wreck it with a big square patch. Um, I think I bent up a piece of metal and painted it. I'll show you that real quick. So I bent this up. This was a piece from an old wash tank, parts washer. And I've got some old paint cans and this one wasn't painting very well. It was kind of just dumping the black. And so I put a pretty heavy black coat on it and then just dusted the red on and it kind of came out cool. Um, so once that cures, I'll do the same thing to the other side or somewhat similar. Maybe just keep it dark or maybe paint it red and then splatter some black on. I don't know. Um, but we are going to do panel adhesive or some type of an adhesive and um, that will help to preserve the integrity of the hood and also keep the patina on the outside. And of course, all of this, um, as far as a point of view, you know, you don't see a whole lot of the damage when it's sitting on the tractor frame. All this flat spot is hidden, so it's just that little bit of front stuff. So I'm going to keep on cleaning, and there's a few parts of this front end that I might spin new on the lathe. Um, just to tighten up the steering, something like that, or maybe just clean up that bar. But um, while Riley's working on the hood, I'm cleaning up this frame as well because we're going to clear coat everything, just like Molly's tractor. Everything. Everything. What you doing over there? I'm uh, getting a feel for my new tractor seat. Yeah? What's your new tractor seat look like? <laughs> a little bit like that. A little bit like that. Just a little. Yeah. That was given to us by our old neighbor, Miss Diane. And she thought we could use it for something someday. And uh, so we'll see if we can make that fit on a tractor. Riley just found it over in the corner. <laughs> You ready? Okay. All right, go. Hi. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> You're a goon.